Come now, gaming monkey, that Aztec stream must have been, what, seven and a half, eight years ago? I like to think, in all the time of streaming, that I don't make such rookie mistakes anymore. Of course. Well, I say that, it's bound to happen at some point. Of course, back then, nobody told me. They were just, just keen to have me make a royal fool of myself there. Yeah, it was ages ago, Marvin. Okay, but this wasn't ages ago. This is KCD. It's only set a few hundred years ago. We're back with it. Where are we at? Well, we're trying to track down Riki, but I believe we have all the information that we need. He's over at some game hunting spot through the woods where he ends up wet and muddy. I can see two obvious ways. This way looks pretty wet, but this way looks even wetter. So I think we'll take along this way, and I'm pretty sure there's some kind of opening here where we'll be able to check to find a place where we hunt game, and that's likely where Riki will be. Otherwise, uh, the worst Henry here has been getting into a whole load of hot water for all this indiscriminate murder, and that, well, I'm <laughs> not, not very popular in Lidicho right now, and I'm very unpopular in Ujits where they want to arrest me. Although, didn't they want to arrest me in Lodicho not that long ago? Maybe I went to prison to pay for my crimes, but I could well be wrong. Okay, what do I actually have on me here? I've got the good old captain's mace that I picked off off the bailiff. A heavy shield that I picked up off some guard that tried to kill me. And some dark gear that I got off of good old Black Pete. And of course, a reminder of home. We've still got our straw hat from Scallets. Do I need to repair anything while we're at it. Good, I want to keep those boots um, fixed by myself because I believe that activates my 7 miles boots perk so that sprinting is less expensive for me. On top of that, I didn't even realize, but I unlocked a main level here. I'm tempted to go scout. There's a lot of things that give you ups and downs here, so gain two strength but lose penalty on charisma and speech. It's like, well, that's kind of break even in my opinion. I don't really care about specializing any of these, I just want to play with what I've got. Uh, Scholar? Yeah, again, losing strength and warfare, no thank you. So instead I think I will get Ascetic, that way I'll be able to go longer without food, and since it's very easy to eat, yeah, just all around good one to get there, I think. At level 10 I want first aid 3, because I think that'll allow me to do all the first aid needed for any event. Although I am a touch hungry, surely there's some food out for me. I'm paying for bed and board here. Actually, no, they got nothing going on there. Fortunately for me, though, I've got some dried meat, so I might as well just chow down. I'm sure I'll be finding some more dried food as we go along. And go along we shall. Picked off the ground. You didn't steal the mace, but you found it honestly. Finders keepers. I knew it, so bandit and bandit. Why don't we just kill them here and now? How could it possibly be a crime to... to fight these bandits? They're asking for it. Anyway, something I need to get through my thick skull right now is that I do not need to go and pilfer every last thing I see. I have lots of money and, in my opinion, good gear, because this is my idea of good gear. And if I desperately need to get into a fight... What? Did I just move to horse accidentally? My dried meat. Right, give me that back. If I truly am in a fight where I need the best of the best, I've got my good gear on the horse. Although that, rem that will entail remembering to go and check my horse for it. I want to get tailored up. I'm quite certain that the uh, the popo were on to me last time. Jesus, what do you want from me now? Just want you to fix my stuff. Come on. Bye bye. Yeah, get that gambeson and hood all done up. No point haggling or um. Well, no point haggling because we've got plenty of dosh until the day that we don't have plenty of dosh. On top of that, how's our Equipment looking, it's not dirty, and by and large, it's very well, very well maintained, although perhaps not by me. Thinking about it, wouldn't I like to have another tailor kit? This one is running well low. My blacksmith's kit's running even worse. I do have a cobbler kit there, and I already used it, didn't I? Hmm. Right, sort of by A to Z. Loving this uh, mod that keeps your items sorted a lot better. I will want to get a, a new kit for tending to my uh, to my clothes and that. Don't like having them fall apart on me. <laughs> nice look, Darth Henry. 
Hey, I went to great efforts to get these all black equipment. In fact, I think I have all the stuff that I want, uh, even into the mid and late game, so... This should be alright, surely. A tailor kit. I don't know really the difference between a big one and a small one, but I'll take a... I'll take a big one, why not? I'm not afraid of spending a few... Grosh in here and there. Besides, every time I trade, my reputation goes up, and my reputation has a long way to go up. I think I can get a perk which somewhat strengthens me just for being a badass. I need to check the VOD now. I could have sworn that I was public enemy number one and on the jail list around here. You know what? I'm feeling so flush with cash, I'm actually going to go to draw. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I wanted to get myself some lovely sausages and that, but uh, she doesn't want me to. And the shop guard is looking away. I wonder... Yeah, I just want the smoked sausages, Lassie. There's no need for you to be such a so-and-so. Now, I have a bit of an idea. What if... What if she wasn't looking here? And I were to dispose of her and the guard and steal all these sausages. At some point it becomes a matter of principle. Oh my god, god, quick, there's a corpse there! There's no such thing, lady. Just hey, calm you. down. Calm oh. down. Surrender! You're under arrest. Go ahead and gather no. your strength. Gotcha! Now I'll fix you good and proper. You'll soon learn what justice means. Whoop! Don't play the innocent. You crippled someone, you bastard. Personally, crippled I someone? I recall doing no such thing. You're making a serious... <laughs> yeah, I know. I have nowhere near the uh, speech skill to get out of these. But you can at some point. Anyway, I'm not going to prison for this. I'm getting my sausages. You! Stop! Stop right oh, God! <laughs> Surrender! You've committed a crime. Uh, the knees, have you? Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not getting those sausages. Yeah. Maybe I'm not getting those sausages. Yeah. Or maybe it's just going to take a bit of extra work to get around to get those sausages. See, so this is what poor reputation does for you. People don't even want to trade with you. They just don't want to know you. Yeah. But now that I've taken care of sausage lady... Provided nobody's still on to me at this point, and I'm not sure if they are still chasing me. The icon at the top indicates that they were searching for me, and now they have lost sight of me. So as long as I'm ah sneaky like, and you know, don't let the dogs out, I should be able to make my way back and get myself those sweet, juicy sausages. Well, kind of an assumption that they're juicy. Oh man, somebody somebody put away the merchandise. Well, I'll have to make do with his bacon, his cheese, his dried fruit, his dried meat, pretzel, salami, and salt. Why do they just pay this guy in food for failing to protect the store? And, uh, oh, jeez. Oh, what, what do you want from me? What crime? Try that on someone else. I know full well you're responsible for murder. If it was up to me, well, uh, no imprisonment for me. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I got my meats. Weep at the knees, have ya? Where's that horse of mine? Oh, jeez. Yeah. There we go. Good strong horse that isn't shy. Yeah. Gets me a long way here. Now I suspect for that I'm... well, for some reason I'm not showing up as the wanted man here. I wonder why that is. There was no Discord announcement so I almost missed it. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. So there wasn't. Well, let's ping one up swiftly, shall we? See, what was I saying about rookie mistakes at the very start of the stream? There's one of them right there. It's not like I have a checklist yeah. or anything. To be fair though, I am very tired today. Amayui went on way too late into the night last night. 
Probably sick and tired of having KCD bite into its time it decides to bite back into KCD. But the fight in Amayui was good. Yeah. See, back in the day there was no Discord. All of the community chatter was done here in the chat. But the times move on and we move on with them. Although not everybody does. Or perhaps I can find some fine people here who know of Riki. Hello. You go away. I want nothing to do with you. And the attitude on some people here. I'm not gonna pay him seventy groschen just to talk to him though. I don't know what's wrong with the people around here. If I had to guess, it's that they're not eating enough mace. Oh, an apple and a carrot and some keys and some groschen for my trouble. Now I said I don't want to loot everything everywhere, but... But, 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 groschen is a nice... Well, groschen is a different matter. Nobody ever steals your groschen off of you, even if it's stolen groschen. And since I got that food, actually, maybe he has something out cooking for me. Be very nice of him. He wants. Oh well. Um. Look, I'm just here to eat, so don't mind me, lassie. Delicious, thank you. And uh, are there any beds in here at all? Ah, there's something resembling a bed over there. So I think the right thing to do is to put him to bed and say he died of a heart attack. Which, um, somehow injured his head gravely. And we should implicate the wife in it all as well. I really, really do not like killing dogs in games. But these dogs are really, really ugly. So if you don't mind me, doggo, I'm a little hungry for dog meat. Wow! That's one hardcore dog! Ah, he deserves to live. Come on, horse. I've seen all we need to see here. I'm actually halfway. Where am I even going from here? I'm on the search for Riki, somewhere wet and full of thick brambles and stuff and somewhere that we can hunt game. I don't think he's going to be all the way down to the miller. So up we go. Now we've found Riki before, right? I've played through this quest before. Can I remember where everything is and what to do everywhere? Absolutely not. And it wasn't even a year ago that I went through it. Come on. I know you know Skyrim horse, but you can make it up this. Yeah. You crippled him and just leave him to starve. No, 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 no. See, the dog can eat the man. That's what dogs do, you see. When their owners die, the dogs start eating them. That's where the phrase, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, comes from. Yeah. Right, I was expecting to find somewhere that game can be hunted. Oh, what do we have here? Could this be Riki's little camp? No, it's just an accident. I don't know if I'd burn myself walking in. Well, I guess I'm about to find out. Mm, quality arrows. Well, that'll, that'll replace the one that the dog is now carrying for me. So I'm a bit banged up here, but I have got myself some potion with my name on it. Is that the one, Artemisia? No, it's not that. It's Marigold. Marigold's a lovely potion. Easy enough to chug down, and it restores your it restores 30 health over a period of time. You can't chug potions in combat, so you can't just stop combat and go, mm, let me eat my cabbages, my watermelon, and drink a few potions. Yeah. You can't switch out your armor in combat, either. Oh, rabbits. So perhaps this is something of a hunting ground around here. Well, there's possibility here and possibility there. Yeah. But this looks more like an established camp. But then maybe they know of Riki. Yes, the woodcutters. 
I wonder how you got permission to cut in the woods in this day and age. Right, oh friend, what are you up to? Too good for me, are you? Well, there's something to say about that. Down you go. Hunt the most dangerous game. Right, maybe somebody around here will talk to me. Ah, you there, friend. Good lord, the nerve of some people. Yeah, I need help getting my stealth stat up here. You there, you heard of someone called Riki. The nerve of some people, right? They treat me like I'm not even here. Alright, no, no, that's not the not the loot button. You were the eco warrior. <laughs> no, sometimes it's beneficial to be taken down the trees, you know. Ooh, crackling. I haven't had crackling in forever. Do they even do that here in Sweden? Surely, right? They kind of nose to tail around here. Oh, he's just faking it, isn't he? Yeah, but I'll leave him be. Let him wake up and see his comrades. So, none of these folk know of Ariki. Surely they would have said so if they'd known of him. Nobody wanted to speak to me to begin with. Now, how about you? You heard of, a, of Ariki? Your name is Raspberry. That means you're probably somewhat important. Important enough for a bit of pickpocketing? I'll be taking that carrot of yours, and, uh... Well, it'd be a shame for him to miss his carrot, so... Let's make sure he doesn't have to go through that. Wait, didn't I say this wasn't a murder hobo run? Just getting back at all the people who treat me like I'm not even here. Okay, let's try some other clearances for the good man... Uh, what's his name again? Rumpy? Rutty? Ricky. Ricky, because he stinks. <laughs> Chast... <laughs> smashes a man's head in with a mace and chastises him for faking being dead. Nah, nah, nah. It was the guy that we choked out who was... kind yeah. of dead. There was a clearance over here. I'm a bit far north, I think. Good thing we grilled his dad, though. Otherwise, I would have been left without direction. There's a lot of forest to comb through around here. Or so I'd hope. This looks about as good a clearance as we can get. Oh ho! Oh no, I think it's one of those automated water hammery things. Yeah. Here we go. Here we 100% go. I've been on a long hunt for you, Riki, and my mace is feeling a little too lonely right now. Oh, he's been doing some tanning here. Of course, what we were told about Riki is that he poaches around here and sells the tannings. Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any use from advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! D don't kill me! I, I can explain! I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? Okay, I need to need to consider this as the worst Henry here. We've got to threaten him. They're coming for you, you know. I came to warn you. They're coming for you. That's so. Good job. I'm hiding out here then. 
They killed your friend, Lubosh. Nailed him to the door of his own house. Ah, why do you think I'm in hiding? If you don't want to end up like him, you better tell me what you know. And how will that help me? If they come to a bad end, they won't be bothering you anymore, will they? And if you help me, I guarantee they will come to a bad end. One way or another. Fine. What do you want to know? That Neuhoff raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there. Mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhoff. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhoff too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy, I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhoff. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuhoff, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smil, Sir Hanisha's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Runt turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, 
You could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. He caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him with his bodkin in his hand and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, Beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go. So we scarp it. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Runt. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them, and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so buckered from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... Hey, over here! Shh. Oh shit. Runs, people. We've got to get out of here. No, they're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they didn't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Lucky. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I suppose you're right. Well, he's not wrong there. He's not wrong at all. We do stand a better chance together, don't we? Don't mind me whilst I take my time to grab my shield. What's going on there? I've got your back what, there, old here? Ricky. Entertainment. I'll help you, don't you worry. So what you're made of. Oh, right, I thought maybe I could do that all stealthy-like, but no. I'll help you, Riki. I've got your back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Did he just scarper? He is scarpering, isn't he? You know what happens to... You know what happens to people that try and run away here, Riki? Oh, that's it. I'm the one getting the, the beating here. Good of us. Get that head cracker going. Right, Riki, where the hell are you? Good thing I fixed up my boots myself. Damn, it was my big plan to be taking out Riki big time. But he knew the real plan, just run faster than the guy next to you. Wait, what am I doing? I've got a horse for situations like these. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, he could be anywhere here by now. Well, we said this wasn't meant to be the worst yeah. Henry in terms of incompetence, but I'll let that slippery bastard get away. If I ever find him, that'll be the end of him. Yeah. <laughs> Putting the worst and worst Henry. Ah, oh, well, we came out of that fight smelling like roses, at least. Well, who knows, maybe he doubled back to his cave. But he probably won't like the fact that I tackled him during all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Where was that cave at? 
I'm sure he didn't realize it was you who hit him in the back of the head. Well, I was hoping I could uh, do a takedown tackle on him to stop him from running like he was, but none of that. Well, while we're at it... Mm, nice jerk and nice black hood. I wouldn't mind a spare black hood if my own one goes to pot. But I'm always looking for the Groshin and lockpicks don't come cheap. Took out the other two over here, didn't I? I actually like how... Ooh, another black hood. I like how orga organically these situations develop here. I'm quite sure if you just take them all out together, then Riki will stay behind and uh, and chat with you a bit. In that sense, I probably got the worst outcome here, but we'll roll with that. Still, what have we learnt here? Well, we've learnt that we need to go and speak to Tim Boy, haven't we? My friend Timmy. He's over at the windmill, and that's not too far, so we'll just ride straight over there. A black waff in the rock, wouldn't that look good on you? Nah, the layering. I don't think layering is necessary, I quite like my Saxon Gambon. Uh, Saxon Gambason, rather. While well, I'm at it though. Let's get some fixing up going. Cobble my shoes, blacksmith my everything. Just anything I can do to be getting those levels of mine up. Of course I got that vitality, didn't I? Marathon man? Run slower? Nope. Run faster? Nope. If you don't overeat or go hungry for five consecutive days, you get a plus one, but it's so easy to overeat, so I'll pass on that. You can dispel hunger with anything. You won't suffer from eating spoiled food. Uh, no. I think I'd rather keep my level ups to get more of these rather than any of this, because none of this seems particularly useful for me. Run faster, but tire faster. 20% faster to... Isn't that actually just a straight-up good thing, though? Good for those bursts of speed. And if you went the same distance, you'd lose as much anyway. Why don't we go for Sprinter, then? I often run to get yeah. away from the law anyway. Better put these weapons away. I would ha hate for people to get the wrong impression now, wouldn't I? Yeah. I forget what... Yeah. Um, what old whoa whoa did my horse go down oh that's my leg i forget what old Riki does for you there if you do yeah. manage to save him and you stick together yeah testament to the game that it has those different outcomes though running away from my problems better seems like a bright idea. I'm very surprised that I'm not on the wanted list in Lejetko, though. Yeah. I am certain that I was when I stopped yesterday's stream, and I even got caught red-handed for murder and crippling of the, the butcher lady. And yet I'm not on the wanted list. Well, not visibly, at least. Maybe they'll still come for me when I return. Gosh, it is still gorgeous going through here. How's the video compression, though? Is it like going through Fire Blue and Doom? Or is it actually visibly alright on stream? It's very compressed, says GPIC. It's not that bad at all. Oh, wait, those seem a bit contradictory. Very bad on my part. Looks great on mobile. I'll believe it all. Doesn't matter, I got, uh... I got source quality right here. Maybe if we just stop and not have it move for a wee bit, we can appreciate it. Ah, but it looks at like its best when you're going through it. Righto, where is Tim Tim? I've got business with you, boy. Are you Timmy? You're not Timmy. Get a fat lot of not much here. Glad to be with you. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, and a complete numbskull. Aye, he works here, or he used to. I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. 
far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Mirka. She works here, too. Farewell. Give myself a quick wash. So I don't scare poor America. Not, not, ooh, oh, it's another, another of our good friend, the Millers. Good day to you. Why are you keeping me? Why indeed. Okay, where's this, where's this lassie? Is that you? I strongly recall this going pear shape potentially afterwards, so I'm going to slurp down a bit of my, my savy drink. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. All the others know him, so how come you don't? All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. Do we need to talk, though? Do we really need to talk? Actually, if I don't talk to her, I have no idea how I learn where Timmy is. So I'm a little torn here. Ah, uh, okay. The game has uh, plenty of that, from what I can tell. Just making sure that you can't talk to the people that give you the clues that you need, and then you have to suss it out some other way. But I'm not here to rake around every little corner of the map to find out. Build up. Things could get ugly here. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things, but I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm, over by Merhoyed. <laughs> feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow, I wonder? Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. Smart fellow? Offering me stuff? Finally! The recognition that I deserve. Alright, oh yes. Yeah, we know where he is. That's where he is. He's at the Colburn's farm. Right back where he started. Are you yanking my pizzle? Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Oh, absolutely going to come along with you. Huh? Although, you guys are using your own two legs like fools. Maybe they can't afford a good horse like this. Where exactly are we going? Mehoyed? Where is Mehoyed? Oh, really, where is Mehoyed? Maybe it's around here then, seems to be the direction we're going. Yeah, it's been a long time since we found some like minded individuals, so I'm 
only too happy to be traveling along with these folks. They called me smart. Uh, most people just tell me to bugger off or smell, tell me that I smell like a beggar's armpit. But these folks... Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! Uh, well, I'll, I'll take exception to this guy then. <laughs> Not often enough, Dark Young. This game doesn't have any kind of auto walk, does it? Can't press control or something and just trot along? No, okay. Now oh, we get to take care of Tim Tim. These guys offer me a job. They mentioned something about a camp, right? Or was it a tavern? In any case, we can get together for some good drinks after this, finally. Hold shift to auto follow the. Amazing. Unfortunately, it's running and that's considerably faster than my bipedal friends here. Can you do that at night time? Boy, that would make it easier to go around the, the world at night. Meantime though, I can just enjoy the view here. Plant this on a big enough screen close enough to your face, you can feel like you're actually horse riding. Probably need somebody to kick your chair from underneath you though. Do you really want to associate yourself with the horseless plebs? Well, maybe they're saving up their money to get tier 5 horse just like I am. Well, or that I did. Now, looking at it, he's invested more in his uh, arms and armor, isn't he? Ah, Mehoyed, already? Small place, but fair enough. things, horses. Childhood friend of mine uh, got his ribs broken by horses. Apparently it was very painful. He survived. Which, reflecting on it's quite surprising. As he was rather small and the horse rather large. <laughs> that guy knows trouble when it's approaching. Immediately turns around, acts like he's seen nothing. At least I'm not a wanted man in Meho yet. I'm a wanted man in a lot of places. I'm looking forward to getting the perk that actually makes you, making you being a wanted man give some sort of buff. Actually, what was it? Or am I completely misremembering it? Surely, if anything, it would be under stealth. It's not under stealth. I thought it was. Oh, but I've got a stealth thing here. Slim fit. Lowers the noise. I like that a lot. When you're wanted, people will be less likely to recognize your face. And we'll soon stop Look, Oh, I'm going to need that. I want the slim fit, but I'm going to need that. Oh, I want all of this. Take ordinary mug for now, though. I could have sworn there was one that makes you... Uh... Isn't it called infamy? Infamous? Here we go, infamous. Low reputation in an area, you get plus one on strength, speech, agility, and vitality, but reputation rises much faster. That all seems good. And the penalties for serving jail time are less. That sounds really good, but I'd still take first aid three over it, because I seem to get banged up a fair bit. Austin, we've had this hat since Scalettes. It's essentially part of us. A mark from the first person we murdered. Sun's going down. I hope I can find a place for the night while I'm here. He must be wearing several kilos of armor there, and he's been jogging along this whole time. Gotta hand it to. Uh... Gotta hand it to him. Ran and ran from outpost to village here like that. His cronies seem a little lighter dressed. <laughs> Name of Morcock. Uh, isn't this where we're meant to be? Mehoyed? Ah, but maybe it was that place out near Mehoyed. It's going to be dark by the time we get there, though. Kind of makes me look like the leader of this bunch. 
bet I could slaughter them all without really much trouble, though. Although I probably want to have my good armor on. With that in mind, maybe I'd benefit from putting on my armor on, uh, putting my armor on before this, in case this clash gets nasty. I could totally see it getting nasty, so why don't I just grab all of this stuff? It's not so much that it makes me weighed down, so that's kind of good. There we go, now I feel like, come what may, I'll be fine. Oh, that, that is some powerful, powerful armor, nothing's really going to hurt me there. Wearing all that armor, won't spring for some anti-head caving armor. No, 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 you see, when you don't wear a helmet, or any sort of headgear like that, you get plot armor. Although I have a funny feeling that Moorcock does not actually get that. He must have nullified it somehow. It was a VG Cats comic about that, as I recall. Damn, darkness is to the AI's benefit. They seem to see perfectly in nighttime. You can take a potion that lets you see at night, but I don't know how to make it, and I'm loath to pay for it. And I'm loath to surrender inventory space for it as well. Alright, looks like the place. Keep my horse around here for uh, running away if the need arises. For now, though, let's go and see that man, Timmy. Well, well, this is a nice place you have here. Where's the welcome for your guests? And I heard Timmy was a good hope. Nice to see you, Timmy. How goes it? What? Haven't seen you around for a while, eh? No. Well... Uh, I... I hope you haven't forgotten us, Timmy. We've been thinking about you. Uh, uh, me too. I, I was thinking about you. I, I was, you know, thinking that I'd go and see you fellows and, uh... That's all right, Timmy. You don't have to go anywhere. Get him, lads. Strong as an ox. Come on, boys. So we meet again. I was hoping you'd help us out with Timmy, but never mind. Tell me though, why were you looking for him? Uh, yeah, good question. Why was I looking for him? I don't want to give the game away here, so maybe I'll just say that he owed me. He owes me money and he's not paying up. So I thought I'd uh, gently remind him. Ha <laughs> ha! That didn't work out very well, did it? He won't pay you now. <laughs> hmm. It's true you've shown what you can do. Timmy could testify to that. If he wasn't chopped to pieces. <laughs> Maybe I do have a job for you. What kind of job? The kind of job you don't ask too much about. And the less you ask, the more you get paid. Why not? Asking questions never got me anywhere anyway. Glad to hear it. Go and do what you have to do, and then come and see us at the camp. And be prepared to stay there a few weeks. All right. But how do I find that lair of yours? It's an abandoned village. I believe it used to be called Pribislavitz. If you go upstream along the creek that flows into Rovna from the north, from the woods, then you'll eventually get there. Thanks. I hope I can find the way. Oh, and if anyone gives you trouble, say I sent you. Well, then at least tell me what they call you. Moorcock. <laughs> One See shot at life and that's your name. Come on, boys. What do you want for Christmas? More cock? What about your birthday? Even more cock? Poor bugger. Right, well, might as well get that money he owed me. And might as well grab his keys as well. I, I didn't come to blows either. Well, I feel like a right fool dressed up in all this armor then, don't I? Let's put on our much more fashionable stuff. Which really just involves taking off all the unfashionable stuff. Oh, no, no, those those gauntlets are mine. I won those fair and square. 
I think that's what I normally have. I'd, I'd well benefit from having a... Oh, no. No, I meant to send that to the horse. That's okay. I'd well benefit from a presets for wearing... Because I don't know when all the fighting's going to be happening, but it weighs me down to hell and back wearing it. Still, that's all well and good. Maybe I can talk to the people here about their not being a Timmy anymore. Hello, friend. My respects to you. Is there a fellow called Timmy around here? Yep. He turned up a few days ago, so we took him on as a farmhand. He won't last long, though. He's as strong as a pair of oxen, but twice as dumb. He can't lay a finger on anything without breaking it. I see the writers here had read For Mice and Men. Sure. Farewell. Oh, he's probably going to go out and find Timmy. He's, he's just so overwhelmed by emotion. Is there a fellow called Timmy around here? Yep. He turned up a few days ago, so we took... He won't last long, though. Is there a... Yep. He won't last long, though. He won't last long, though, huh? I'm sure you know what you're doing. Right. Little reason for me to do anything else, so let's go and head over to that camp. Question is, where's that camp? He told me and I managed to forget. Prebislavitz. Formerly Prebislavitz. What the heck is that? I wish I'd paid attention to what he said now. Quest log, can you help me out? Oh, I need to report to Sir Radzik about the camp's location. Oh, and Sir Radzik's really close by. When did Sir Radzik set up yeah. the camp here? Still, I think his camp might have a bed for me, which is good, because it's a little too late for me. Survival instinct's a strong one, and that, that farm owner had it. Alright, so this is Raddy's farm, uh, Raddy's camp, rather. Where are you at, Sir Radzig? You got a lot of guards set up here, don't you? Ah, there you are, good sir. Good to see you, lad. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. Good job, Henry. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujit. I found out one of the bandits is from there, a fellow they call Limpy Lubos. I see. What else? I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubos. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair's becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubos's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job. But you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him because he, Limpy Lubosh, and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sacra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I managed to trick one of them into agreeing to take me into their camp. Indeed. That was quite a feat, but I don't want you taking risks like that. Alone in a camp full of cutthroats. I don't like the sound of it. I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. 
And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Sir, I'm, I'm sure you could find someone more capable for the job. Don't be so modest. You're the best man for the job. Because you're the only one I have available. So stop trying to wriggle out of it and get to work. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you for your confidence. I'll find out what I can and be right back. Farewell. Do love the phrase, get back to work. Just gives me happy memories of Frostpunk. Okay, so I have been instructed by my own lord to go and get myself into that camp. Wouldn't mind having a place I could sleep and save here myself, even though the comfort level is doubtlessly low here. It's only sleeping, not sleeping and saving. Maybe Mehoyed had a, a bit of lodgings for me. This looks like it could be lot. Mm, it looks more like a stable than lodgings, actually. Ah, one and the same. Joseph and Mary made with a stable. No saving in Rovna. Hmm, there is saving in Talmberg. Ah, what does it matter? Just find the closest thing and sleep on it. What I really want to save. Maybe, maybe if I just take a kip next to next to Radzig. No, this guard's got the lucky bed. Are there rules about how much you can save? Nah. But saving requires an item that you have to pay for or craft. Alright, let's just sleep until day breaks. Seems he gave you the go-ahead to be evil. Gotta be convincing while you infiltrate the bandit correct, right? If I don't raise a barn or two along the way, and I don't mean that in the Amish sense, then they'll they'll get whiff that I'm not one of them. Put the whole thing at jeopardy. This game's amazing, Smickies. I think it's great. And you know what? I'm right. Those keep those clothes of mine in good condition. I swear there's one kit I'm missing. Blacksmith, cobbling, tailoring. I think it's an armor kit. Probably an armor kit. And if nothing else, that blacksmith kit of mine is getting ravaged. But it's good to work on the maintenance whenever possible. Let's just whistle and wake up all the guards and uh, are we feeling a bit peckish? Only a little, but don't mind me, I'll just chow down on this. Now, 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 now. Up there somewhere. Would be nice if I could. See, he wants me to do some sabotage. The sabotage, as I recall, involves setting fire to arrows and poisoning the people. Which is right up my alley. Let's swiftly go over to Rovna first. Just kill all of them. Um, so this bandit camp we're coming to, it is possible to kill every single bandit in there. But they will respawn when you come back for the following event, so it actually doesn't accomplish anything other than giving you a metric bollock ton of loot. And whilst I am actively salivating at the thought of it, yeah. I do not need more loot. I already have great armor, good amount of money, although, you know, I could easily have ten times as much money. Yeah. It's not going to enrich the experience anymore if I make myself richer off of loot. It's just going to mean a lot more uh, sneaky killing. And I'm here to be the worst Henry, not the sneakiest murder hoboing Henry. There was one comment uh, on the videos straight away that somebody said, oh, I'm not, not taking that you're that evil, you know, you didn't kill everybody in Scalets. It's like, well... It's, not that kind of run. I said yeah. early on, this isn't murder hobo run. I'm just trying to be the worst Henry, make all the worst decisions for the world at large. And if I'm ever missing out on such a decision, I would like chat to call yeah. me out on it. And that doesn't have to be just like, dialogue tree choices. If somebody's given us lip and is not being paid lip service, we should be seeing to that as well. Yeah! Bad decisions, guy. Well, the thing about bad ideas, guy, was that we were doing things that were the worst for us, for Greater Denmark. I 
will certainly want to save once I infiltrate this camp because if things get if things go too hot yeah. I'm going to be surrounded by significantly well armed and armored well not just bandits yeah. there we go from a potentially a real place a bridge that'll make it easy a moat it take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. Hello, friends. Hey, you. I haven't seen your face before. Who are you? Morcock told me to come here. Morcock, eh? All right, come with me. I'll take you to him. Certainly a lot of murder I could get up to around here, but let's get established in the camp first. What are you gaping at? Actually, in what I've seen of this game so far, this is probably the my favorite area. It's so damn cool. What's it's this? unfortunately that was picking up every stray dog that wanders by. He doesn't like being here. Unfortunately, this is a site for the worst DLC. You turn this into a, a proper village, but it's just so bad mechanically. Who are you? What's the East District of Now we're picking up every stray dog that wanders by. Hmm. Straight. Well, to be fair, I'm not exactly dressed for it, but look at these gauntlets. Shows that I at least won the Rate Tourney. And those archers up there, definitely going to be a problem. Nothing wrong. Let me go. I heard you had some trouble with our human brothers. He started fight. His friend killed two men. I'm just eating dogs, sir. Don't listen to what they're saying. <laughs> For the last time, Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp. And we treat guests as our own. We are friends, we are friends. That's why we have to deal with each other. Yes, and that's what we have to do. How do you want to punish him? We have to deal with the fight. We have to deal with the fight. We have to deal with the other people. Let him go. Others will remember it. You let these dogs tell you what to do. And you call yourself a leader. <clears throat> no more unnecessary fighting. We are one camp, one army. So fucking remember that. Somebody else, arsehole. Now, if he hadn't clobbered us right in our face at the beginning of the game, he'd be a man after my own heart, that runt. Well, now that we're here, and now that we're allowed to be here, we can simply... Shit I wouldn't want to live here. Ooh, how grim. Oh, we learned to talk a little better. Maybe we can use that to speak to our friend Moorcock. <laughs> what do we have? Trouble do 50% higher reputation when we talk to women? Nope. Increase the speech skill? Nope. Empathetic? You yes. Yes. You'll see your counterpart's stat and skill checks. Absolutely. That tells you very convincingly whether or not you're going to win in a uh, in a speech check. Otherwise you're doing it completely blind. Morcock, I came here to talk to you and you, you don't really seem to want to talk. Hey, Henry! You found us then. Wait here. I'll go get the chief. 
Oh no 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 no. We 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 don't. We don't need the chief here. We don't need the chief here. Uh oh. Hey, will you tell the chief there's a new fellow here? A new fellow. All right, I'll tell him. What's this? Now we're picking up every stray dog that wanders by. Oh, oh dear. Maybe he won't recognize me in my straw hat. Actually, that's exactly what he will recognize. So now what? Hang on, the chief will be here any minute. Very good wine. Well then, is the chief coming? Aye, he's on his way. Move. You're the new one. Who are you? Henry, Moorcock and his men invited me to... Moorcock and his men, eh? That's funny. Because Moorcock ain't got no men. They're all runt men here. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that. Well, you wouldn't fucking know, would you? Since you don't belong here. Well, well Moorcock said you paid me. Moorcock's a loudmouth and an idiot. If he told you anything, either he lied or he didn't know what he was blabbering on about. Nothing personal, but it seems it's not your lucky day. Kill him. Oh, uh, oh dear. Did I save before I came in here? Well, no. Look what's come crawling out from behind us. Okay, so what? <laughs> Objective, save yourself. What? Uh, maybe I should have come in here with all my armor and stuff on. Well, the good Lord helps those who help themselves, but did he, did he, me? What was all that about? Uh, no, I'm still in combat, so I can't get my good gear on. Oh, I'm just running down here where there's more trouble. Do these guys want me dead as well? We could launch us oh, every freaking person wants me dead! Alright then, let's at least get you away from the bulk of everything! I'm already injured, thanks to the initial skirmish. Right, let's see if we can't just eliminate some of my problems from the start with a bit of the old head clopper. Oh, crikey. Oh, well, I'm bleeding already. Falling through foliage as well. Where'd they all go? Where did I go? All right, come on then. Get away from me. Is that all you got? I'd have a bit more if I had some armor on me, I'll tell you that much. Bring it on. Clobber, clobber, clobber. There we go. There we go. Big cheeses down. Nobody's got friends, of course. Oh no, getting attacked by Scots. Oh Jesus, there's so many of them. Good thing I got Sprinter going for me. I need to take potions and heal and God knows what else. Come yeah, bandages as well. Alright. If I can just... Oh god, there are more of them over there. If I can just break away long enough. Am I am I far enough away to at least put my armor on? 
Is my horse near enough by? If I just hide in the... Hide over here. Get myself some actual armor on so that I can fight back. I'm going to miss that straw hat of mine. Maybe even bandage myself up whilst I hide in the uh, in the foliage. Quietly do in uh, quietly do up all of my equipment. I'm sure they won't mind that. Can't use saver snaps at this point. I rather think uh, we're already finely nourished, but I need some marigold potion to heal me up. A wee touch. Strength and Warfare skill are increased by 5 for 10 minutes. Bewilder your eyes with strange visions. Uh, not sure I'm looking for that, though. Alright, that'll stop the bleeding. My vision is slightly obscured by this helmet, sadly. Perhaps it's for the better that they uh, they don't know that I'm here. That's strange, I thought for sure I'd be able to infiltrate and have a good time here, but apparently not. Hey. What are you doing here? Hey. Ha! Oh, what's up? Hey. What's the matter? Come on. Still a bit banged up for this, and there are a lot of them, sire. When did I save? <laughs> I don't think this is going to go well for me. I wanted to follow that up, but... Okay. Ooh, wow. Gotta hand it to that guy that I... Oh, I've just backed into more of them, haven't I? Okay. Calm down. Just stay calm. Take him out one at a time. I bet there are more behind me. There are more behind me. Right. If we could just... Just generally get away from them all. Uh, they got probably got patrols going on out here as well. As long as they're coming at me from one direction, I might stand a chance here. I've apparently saved myself at least. Right, human. Isn't that the name of a type of cigar? Getting tired here. <laughs> Bring him down. Bring it home. Get out of here. Seems that the rest of them thought the cumin alone could take me on. Well, they were wrong. I'm taking that grosh of yours. And, uh... Hmm. I was wondering if I wanted any of his gear here. I want to replace my bandage, that much is for sure. And uh, I saw that lockpick. Okay, well, this is how it's gone. What I'll do is I'll take a lovely wee sippy of my savior schnapps. And it's time to get revenge. These people want to cross me, I will go in and I will kill every last one of them I find. Which might be a little a little more than I can do. Hey, equip armor, da, 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 so cleverly they're a third lighter. Yes. Absolutely. And the mace. Stab left and bottom right. Stab left, bottom right. <laughs> Human armor can be worn as a disguise. Uh, don't they already know me, though? What was it? Stab left, bottom right. Stab left. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps not. Always in it for the money. But the rest of the stuff, although it would sell for decent money. I'm not going to load up on all of that. I will, however, take another marigold because I am battered here. And I think it's my last marigold. Oh no, I've got two more. 
fine by me, but I want to keep maximum health because that will um, that will ensure that I also have maximum stamina. Did he call me an arsehole? Right, so stabby, lefty, oh, I, he parried me well there. Stabby, perhaps not. Goodness, these people are better at fighting than me, who would have thought? Fighting multiple is uh, always a bit of a pain. Right, that's what I go for. Get the old, get the old swing to the head. That's how I crack my skulls. Somebody noticed in the tourney that yes, the helmet's dent. Although this guy won't get much about you. Oh, jeez. Ow, it hurts. Doesn't help that I'm drunk as well. There's a there is a perk for that. Drunken fighter or whatever. This is not going Henry's way. Push him back. Clobber. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. They're hurting me. They're hurting me bad. Fucking hell. Right, come on, head. Bring him down. He was trying to surrender, but I was already mid swing. So what you made of. Okay. I tell you, all this bleeding isn't helping matters. He's cutting right through me. There we go. Get down. Okay. These people wouldn't happen to have some marigold concoction on them, would they? My poor armor is probably in pieces by now after the beating that it's taken. Nice thing is that I could switch it out with some less destroyed armor right now. I should do a quick check on it. My Hungarian Gambeson is uh, not Gambeson. Halbrek is dying, so I'd be as well just ditching that. And my helm. My helm is really good, though. I'd be. I'd be loath to ditch it. Uh, that head two thing seems better than mine. Also, never pass on the Groshen or the lock picking. And I suppose I'm drinking myself another Marigold. Uh, what, what did I just do? Uh oh. I just used it on something rather than uh, drinking it myself. Oh well. Drink what I have left. I don't really want a skull cap. I'd rather have the one I have right now than that. But doesn't he have arrows? He's got 120 better hunting arrows. Better believe I'm having that. What was I looking at? This, uh, this less dinged up coif. I'll be having that. Mighty banged up, though. I'm not in a great state for taking on more fights. There are tons of them, though. If I'm going to be fighting them all, I'm going to be here all day. But, you know what? I have all day. So, starting with you... Shame we lose a... It's a shame that we lose the reticule for the one thing you need the reticule for, or want the reticule for. 
Oh, that was terrible. Oh, and he knows how to do that as well, it seems. Good thing we found all those better hunting arrows. Ow. Alright, and then we go in for the kill, of course. You get nothing. You die. You and all your type. Hmm. You won't get out of this scot free. Pay up, understand me? Pay. Money. Silver. And then I'll let you go. You call that money? Sure, I can beat more out of you than that. He gave me two whole groschen. Oh, he was holding out on me. He had another 0.7 groshes on him. Okay, I reckon I've taken care of about 10% of them so far. And I have no more healing left. Really, we're not looking so hot. And yet, I'm liking my chances here. I got two more savior snaps. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Save to commit and get stuck in. A stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. <laughs> Dare. It's quite funny. That said, I think I've cleared out some of the uh some of the problems here. Oh Christ, I've been noticed. Probably going to be a lot of me getting noticed here. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm sure that hit, I'm just not sure he cared that much. Oh, he, he's got the big guns there. Uh-oh, there are others that know I'm here as well. That could be a problem for me. The real problem is my intense lack of, um, of stamina. Since my maximum health is so low, I was really hoping I'd find other people with marigold potions on them. That... That's how I like to do it. Go for that head crack as soon as I push them back. If I ever play this game again, I'm really going to look into a- Oh, jeez. It's more. He doesn't look like much, but he's still a distraction. So I want you out of the picture. Oh, whoa, whoa. Out of the picture. Good. And then you... You're just losing your head, mate. Come on, come on, I need to I need to talk to this guy, not get stuck on rocks. Oh, damn, I can see reinforcements coming as well. See, you get punished quite often for attacking because of the master strike. Because EA will do it to you as well. And since a master strike is unblockable, it kind of makes it the answer to everything. I love, love that swing around. Often leaves them open for a head clobbering. This guy's on half health, although to be fair, I'm on even less. Okay, right, I'm still alive. These guys still refuse to drop me any healing. That's a fre well, a fresher looking cumin light helmet, but I'll pass on that for now. 
Certainly take your 24 arrows, though. Oh, right, and maybe some more bandages. Didn't mean to grab that torch, though. Uh, drop one torch. Did that equip the other one? No. Just looked like it did. Ah, more friends. Well, come one, come all. That's not the Q button. My phone's buzzing away, telling me that I've got another submission for the State of Decay Dark Side run. Ow, 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 ow. Failing to cross the river because I heard backup coming. It's the worst kind of backup. Backup with a bow. One guy seems pretty stuck on the... Actually, they both seem pretty stuck on the bridge, so... If you don't mind me taking cover behind this tree, I will uh, do my best to dispatch you. Hopefully you don't mind me taking cover behind this tree. Let loose. Uh-oh, he's coming. Nice. I don't even know how I pulled that off, but nice. I want to talk to you and take your money, but, uh... Uh, sir? Sir? <laughs> What's he even doing? Well, more importantly, it's what he's not doing. Living. How do... Wow, he's like a crab. Right, enough of your enough of your running around here, chat. Down you go. You go up for me. <laughs> Don't feel like I'm asking a lot, but some people having some healing on them would be very welcome at this point. How's my armor looking? Is any of this stuff completely falling to pieces? Oh, my poor black hood. I'd be as well just taking it off at this point. Actually, I have a spare one, but I like it. Hmm. I'll just drop it. It's damaged beyond repair. Beyond my repair, at least. That's the last we saw of that. I'll be needing new armor after all this is done, and I'm not sure I'm going to have the dosh. Well, I'll certainly have the dosh for it, but the desire for it. Okay, another few bite the dust. Did I get any new skills out of that? Yeah, become ever stronger. Heavy swing. Your damages cause greater damage, but more stamina. Or mule. I like mule, but uh, right now I need to be doing more damage. The stamina cost is pretty bad. I wish it told me how much more damage, though. Because without that, how do I know if it's worth it? What if it's 5% more damage for 10% stamina? I thought for sure he'd overpower me. Yet another contortionist. Might as well make sure he stays down, though. Ah, that could be something. Get myself a proper Cummins face helmet thing. And a really good condition coif there. $1,000 uh, spurs for me as well. And uh, good, a new Haubrek. I was looking for one of those. Wasn't I looking for some better riveted arms as well? Uh, I think Brigadine is better than these ones, but mine are mashed up right now. I'll wear these for now then. And yeah, I was, I was missing this entire layer. That's a lot of body armor that I didn't have on me. How much can you see out of one of these? Oh, not well at all, but consider it immersion. I'd also like to go and make sure I killed the guy that I put to sleep over here. Last thing I want is more people getting up and rejoining the fight. Who was it? Where was it? He was back walking away a lot. Here we go. 
Mind if I ask, dear sir, what is the mod that gives items their names? Oh, okay, I don't actually know. But I'm sure I can check somewhere. I'm sure I can... I don't even know which directory it's in. Maybe if I just check for... Uh, deliverance mod... It's called A Sorted Inventory, and you can find it on Nexus Mods. A Sorted Inventory. Three words. Hopefully that's enough to go on. This limited view is something else. But who knows, maybe they'll stop aggroing on me for a moment. Gotta hand it to the people that come out in their pyjamas willing to face me down. Good lord, I was seriously hoping for some actual health pickups along the way. Some marigold concoctions, and I would have another one if I hadn't used it all. Goodness, they can see me from a mile away, can't they? Does the game even consider my quest at this moment? Sabotage, sabotage, set fire, get back to her head sick. What do I tell them? My cover was blown. This would be better done as a sneaky bugger, but let's do what we can here. Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandit. He's a tidy one, right? Well, down he goes. Wonder if he had any friends. I think he's just raising alarm because he's seen a body, not that he's seen me. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I don't think you've noticed me today, sunshine. Let's keep it that way. With stealth this high, you can get away with anything. Although, you've noticed me, haven't you? Right. I don't want things to get too cornered and complicated over here, so I'm actually going to run away. So at least I have my back to a safe route out of here. Just in case that guy pursues me. Was your cover blown? The chief just decided to murder you because he was in a bad mood. Possibly. It wasn't even the chief, it was just one of the chief's lackeys. That guy's on high alert, you'll definitely hear me coming, but it looks like he's pretty much alone here. Uh, what are you even doing here, sir? Where's your weapon? Well, his weapon appears to be a torch, but that's not going to help him much here. Punching a guy in plate mail, great idea. Uh oh, uh oh, he actually brought a friend. And his friend has an actual sword. Right, this could get rough. What's the matter? Come on. Well, what's mattering is that I'm dying. Oh, jeez, and that's not being helped by you sorting me down. This will be the end of me. Someone else is here. I got nothing here. Uh, oh, if I can shove you in here, maybe, just maybe. Damn it! Okay, good. He's he's uh, surrendering. I'm too tired to even follow up my attacks here. I need you out of the picture, mate. Get down, both of you. Oh, jeez, there's more. Of course there's more. All of you, gather here! Raise the alarm! Come on, man. 
Good. If I was bleeding, I'd be dead by now, because I'd be bleeding out, but... Oh god, he brought another friend! I don't have what it takes to take down another friend. Alright, there's not much I can do but just parry them away, if I can... Ow. If I can even manage that, because... I have no stamina to follow up with anything. It's become a rhythm game. Oh no, there's even more of them! And I can see even more behind the reinforcements. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Not to be, sadly. Ah, oh, where did that all go so wrong? Okay. Well, we still got something resembling health again, but a lot more people to destroy again. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. It's okay though. Get plenty of practice in swinging. All right, come on, friend. Going into the camp, I think, is a bad idea. At least until I'm certain I have really reduced the amount that I have to deal with here. Easy does it now. Thinking about it, you know, aside from the Master Strike stuff, the, the combat is really fun. I will, I will once this run is over, need to look into the no Master Strike mod. The argument against Master Strike is that it nullifies everything else because you can just do it and there's no answer to it. And there really is no answer to it. It's very punishing to be attacking as well. But maybe there's a finer point about it that I just haven't picked up. I'm not opposed to that idea. Yeah, I remember you. Maybe even running through too. Long time YouTube scrub here finally decided to join in. Well, welcome. Although you're, you're walking on me getting clobbered by a bunch of people in their pajamas. Master Strike reminds me of Assassin's Creed 1. Combat was impossible until you learned how to counter. I see. Never played a... Never played Assassin's Creed. Didn't seem like my kind of thing. Ubisoft games in general don't seem like my kind of thing. What'll it be, sunshine? And the follow-up, clunk. I can't imagine that helmet does too much to protect you from the kind of mace blows I'm doing. And he's certainly not being protected. Poor bugger. Nice. Very nice. No mercy in my mercy killing. Hmm? Oh, another one. Well, another one bites the dust. Gotta make sure I'm keeping this mace in tip top condition. Still have one savior schnaff if I wanted to consider that. Now my armor is getting banged up, but I oh god, am I still wearing I should just take off the hood. It's not not doing much for me. Although it does lower my conspicuousness. Tell you what, I'll wear this one out and I'll fix up that other one. But hang on, didn't it say that I wasn't even able to fix that up with my tailor kit? Too damaged. 
Mm hmm. Shows how it's been 31. What about this? No, I need more repair skill. That's fine. I'll find a tailor to fix it up for me. Alright, more or less back to how I was before I got cornered and destroyed, I think. Would have been nice to get it done in one shot, but if a man could be so lucky. This guy doesn't notice all the jingling behind him like it's Christmas time. Oh, he certainly did. Alright. And to the head. To the head. Ooh, he knows he knows a counterattack of his own, it seems. We got any Hungarians in chat that know what these heathens are saying? I think he's screaming I'm dying in Hungarian. This fighting is so much more difficult with only half my health books, it also means only half my stamina. Uh oh, he brought friends. Power of friendship could be my undoing. Let's keep my back to a safe space. This guy's fresh. So let's try and make him remarkably less fresh. Oh, ho, ho, that must have been a bad one to the head. Let's give him a worse one to the head. He tried to help you and you're just going to sit back like that? Well, that's how you're going to play it, sunshine. Uh oh, I heard a friend. Where's the friend? There we go. I think he wanted to surrender, but too late. Too late, friend. Down you go. Phew. This is a tiring fight, but a good fight. This this I quite like. I'm not sure the point of the game is to be a one-man... Oh, 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 oh. Don't think I didn't hear that, friend. Just takes one bad blow. One bad bleeding blow. And Henry's time here gets considerably worse. Glass. You know, I gotta level up and I'm not using it. There's my... Hmm, if you're not wearing plate armor, it'll be easier to dodge. Your attacks will demand less stamina but cause less injury. For agility stuff, well, I guess I'll take light armor then. Nothing else seems important here. But I want my heavy swing back, please. What does warfare even do? More skillful, faster attacks. Harder to dodge. Very nice. Nice T-pose. Nice... Oh, there we go. Straight to the head. Now I gotta say, it's going alright. Didn't I not have a second layer of armor on? No, I did not. So let's change that. For Risky Bisks not having that on. I also don't have a Legs 2 on. Do you have any Legs 2? No, you've just got your riding breeches. He's got that captain's helmet, though. Although I don't like losing my vision, I wouldn't like to die to a hit in the head. And that's a good bit of extra head armor. So I'll take it and become more conspicuous while I'm at it. Okay, that was good. So I tell you what, I'm going to slurp down my last savior schnapps. And from here we have to clear out the rest of the base. Got those 1,000 silver thingies. I mean, money's not really an issue. I'm not going to get 1,000 from taking the 1,000 silver thing. Hold that thought. Oh, powerful man, are we? He was having none of that. He 
keeps looking over there. Does he have a friend coming? I would do well to keep that in mind. Again, I have lots of money. There's little reason for me to care about picking up every last little bit of loot. Spurs, though. Silver spurs and that, or even better, golden spurs. Rings, necklaces, anything really lightweight is certainly worth my time, as well as Groshen, and I suppose some lockpicks. Where were the spurs then? I'm not seeing any spurs. Might have been on one of the other bodies though. Oh, how dare I miss that. Come on, Tin Man. I think he got a Master Strike on his own there. Good thing he didn't make me bleed there. That was, that was a little dangerous. Still plenty of non-Cuman bandits though, but the Cuman camp is the closest one, so go figure they're the ones that are coming out first. So he got he got a little <clears throat> master strike of his own there because he could just straight up parry what I was doing. The feeling is somewhat mutual. Man, I find this combat really enjoyable. I know some people don't like it whatsoever, but it just I feel so invested in every fight. And I don't feel like I'm a Dynasty Warriors guy slicing my way through thousands. I feel like I've got to work for every advantage. Yeah, grovel. I'll let you go, but it'll cost you if you insist. I do insist. 27, eh? It's a good rate. Off you trot. Off you trot. Off you trot. Looks more fun than Dynasty Warriors. Well, Dynasty Warriors I find fun on a higher level. It's nice to see your army go around and do what you can for the morale, but later later Dynasty Warriors have nothing like that. Oh, that's a great curious. Body 3 Milanese curious. Probably in better nick than what I have on right now. Oh heavens, yes. <laughs> Still didn't see those spurs. Did you have them? There we go, silver spurs. It's hard to differentiate 1k from the rest of it. But if you see k, it's probably worth more than most other things. Okay, we know we're not done yet. We can see somebody going around there. What the hell was that? Maybe I can just jingle my way over to you. They're still yelling because they can see the, uh, hear the dead bodies over there. Jingle, 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 die. Now that's good, that's just taking someone out, no fighting, not even doing any damage to my equipment to bring you down. Lockpicks, Groshen, nothing else worth my time. And I am slightly lower than max capacity, so I can still loot some more things. I would still rather focus on dealing with the Kuman camp, because that'll stop me from getting uh, back blasted by Kumans as I work my way up there. Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. You could even take a nap here, but of course if somebody finds you while you're sleeping, you're in for a rude awakening. Yeah, I can't see a damn thing. Can we just put our weapons away for a little bit? There we go. I'd like to switch out to stealthy gear, to be honest, but if I ever get caught in an ambush, I won't be allowed to put my armor back on in such a hurry. Okay, here we go. This is what we need. 
Inside here, there should be some poison, I think. Mm, well, there's a lot of nice fresh gear. Ooh, including a completely fresh hoberk. Certainly wanting that. I mean, this is just a dream, a looter's dream right here. Any good Nick helmet stuff? I think the helmet stuff I have is slightly better. There we go, some poison. And a heavy shield, a fresh heavy shield. My one's a bit knackered, so I wouldn't mind taking one of those. And then we head over to... There we go, just drop this one. I mean, I could move it to the horse, but what's even the point? And I'm a little bit weighed down, so I should look at anything I have that's excess requirements and just move it over to the horse right now. Like that other helmet of mine. You're quite heavy, so off you trot. Move that over and equip that one. And now I'm now I'm well under. A lot of it was taken over by that hefty body thing. So what I do is drop into the pot my little potion here. Enjoy your meal. Okay, I'm actually feeling quite good about this. You have, the better for us. There'll be more potion. Uh, there'll be no po uh, more poisons, more arrows, more places to put them in. I think there are three of each, but I can't quite remember. There's barely anyone left to poison. They'll all respawn, sadly. They'll all be back. More po uh, more potion. Uh, poison. Great. A fresh helmet, but probably not a good enough one, so I'll leave it be. I was hoping really for some healing, but maybe that's too much to ask for. Arrows. The fewer arrows you have, the better for us. And some more poison to put the in. Secret is in the spices. Right, maybe I can bring you out with a well-placed arrow without bringing the entire magical school bus. You just, you just not care. What a guy, he's just tanking it. He takes patrol duty very seriously. But I'm even more impressed with myself for landing all three of those arrows on him. What are you playing at coming down with nothing on you? Actually, I need you taken out first. Got weak at the knees, have you? It was dangerous to take out the softer target or the one that's more liable to hurt me. I would enjoy seeing again. You get out of here. You also get out of here, please. Follow up. There we go. Oh, that head strike does so much wonderful, wonderful damage. I just have to hope he's not bringing in any friends right now. To hell with you. And. Good night. Are oh, you bl blocking a mace with your wrist? You wouldn't have a wrist le uh, left. Fresh black hood, actually. I wouldn't mind that, since my one's been getting a bit knackered here. Legs, too, I don't actually have any of. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've been noticed. Well, whilst you're busy noticing me, I've got my legs, too. So I actually have a bit more leg protection. Whilst you're on your way down here, I'll- Whoa! Trivens, he tonked me right in the nads with a with an arrow there. It's okay though, he won't get another one let loose. Now for what it's worth, you don't have to be doing any of this, right? I've already been to the camp, I know where it is and who's here. You can report back to your liege lord with just that information and that'd be fine. But... 
worst Henry wants to take matters into his own hands. I mean, especially after it turned on me like that. I can't let matters be like that. You still got more of you, Jinx. Come on, this guy is actually taking my blows quite well. Well, not anymore, he won't. Wrong. Still going, what the freaking guy. There we go. Not a murder hobo run, by the way. Ocha! Oh, where was even that coming from? Uh-oh, this is a little dangerous, because he's got some friends nearby as well. I need to bring him around the corner, and then... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that hurt. I'll finish you off. That could be the problem for me, you see. I don't want you to finish me off. I need to be the one doing finishing. I'm over here. And plunk. Alright, warfare skills. Give me something good. When you're wound- the more you're wounded, the stronger your attacks. Yes. I need that right now, please. Another black hood, which I do rather like, but... Just take the lot- oh, I took something. I took one thing too many and I don't even know what. I think it was that, and it's in slightly better nick than these, so... And they were clean as well. Take that, drop the other. And again, looter's paradise right here. The amount of stuff you could be taking. My god, there's three of them over there. Well, let fly. Oh, did I say three? I meant four. And am I about to find out that I actually meant more than that yet? My arrows just are not flying far enough for that. Take a bit of cover. I would have 30 more health if I hadn't just wasted that marigold potion on a um, on an arrow of all things. I think it was an arrow at least. Oh. Right. Speaking of getting wasted, well, you just didn't last long at all, did you, Radden? Wait, why do you have a proper name? Well, insofar as Radden is a proper name. I think see they don't get some lovely uh, iframes as they pull out their weapon. Anyone else want a piece of Henry from Scout? Okay, this guy looks like he means business. He fights with a, uh, a real weapon. None of these Namby Pamby blades. Though he's clearly a poser. Listen to him cry. Baby want a bottle? Baby want a dirt bottle? Fuck it. Henry must be knackered here. Well, I'm counting on it, friend. Oh, he's got friends, right? Let's make sure those friends don't become a problem. They're already becoming a problem. But I need this guy down. Down and now. Ah, jeez. Right, that should be you. And then it's time for you. I can handle a little bit of bleeding, but if I'm drawn out combat, that's just a no-go for me. Now I got you. Yeah, uh, I believe I have you. Down you go. Hmm. 
Mace boy is scarping. I can see that. I don't know if he's going to scarf her back to camp or out of here in general. How many arrows was that? Only 12, right. Uh, there should be some people with literally hundreds of arrows. Which I wouldn't mind throwing on the horse for backup. But I also really wouldn't mind some healing. Surely, surely somebody around here has some healing. Oh, there we go. 337 arrows. Don't mind if I do. And uh, let's just move those to the horse, shall we? Don't know why some of them have obscene amounts of arrows, but I won't question it. I'll just take it. Radan's got interesting black and white hood there. Otherwise, not worth, not much worth the note. I keep accidentally picking up more there. What did I grab? Some sort of leggings, no doubt. Patched hose. I am seriously going to be needing some um, some washing up and some tailoring of my clothes after this. But hopefully. Sir Radzig will pay me for what I've done here. Some schnapps, perhaps? I believe I've drank the last of my schnapps. Oh, wait, I've still got one more. No, no, I don't. That's that's barred. Maybe some of this will heal me. I need a quick water break before I ascertain what I do from here, though. But I think this camp is about to be cleared out. I'll be right back. Now, if I'm getting thirsty just narrating it, I can only imagine how parched Henry is right now from all this fighting. I was going to check if any of these things actually give me any health, but I severely doubt it. No, just strong alcohol and eating food does not inherently give you back health in this game. Okay, well with that, I assume most of the patrols are dead, all the cumins are dead, and the only ones left are our friends the actual bandits, assuming there are many of them left as well. Oh, well, oh no! My least favorite one to deal with. Halberds. I wasn't even aware you could fight with halberds in this game, and then it... then it comes and gives me this. Ah, oh, jeez, right, he's proven his point immediately here. I'd rather you didn't go around me like that, then I can't see if you got friends coming over from the, the bandit camp. So he can keep me at good distance with that. And my head clobbering skills need me to close that distance. He loves advancing to me, doesn't he? Oh, jeez. Quick on the swing. Bloody attack. Good. Ah, not good enough, though. Poking with this isn't really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the big clubbing. I never seem to win in those close, you know, close combat bouts, though, when we come in for a, a real close swing. When you get kneed in the face or kicked back and all that. He's half dead, but then some feelings mutual on that one. Don't 
Oh boy. Yeah, when it comes to poking, he's got a slightly better weapon for it, doesn't he? You mind uh, waiting just a minute there, friend? I've got a main level up to have, and to be honest, I got a lot out of this. I want that first aid. Probably really want that first aid now. I would love Infamous, but let's take first aid. Yeah, this this whole this whole engagement has been pretty great for leveling everything. I suppose except for speech. Right, there we go. Boy, Albert boy's a problem. Wait, I, I thought I just mercy killed you. Time for even more mercy. Again, nobody here is carrying any blessed healing for me. I think you still have a strength perk to allocate. Mm, that would be a no. I already got my heavy swing in. Nothing else has any points to allocate. Okay, are we finally done here? Halberd boy took me dangerously close to death. Okay, there we go. 958 arrows. That sounds like a job for my horse. Hunting arrows, better hunting arrows. Da 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 da. Yeah, good for them. Anyway, all of it over to the horse. I'll equip these long distance arrows instead. How do you even carry 900 arrows? Where is he storing them? Ah, you see, he had the golden quiver. Because he managed to do the Gerudo camp training well. I'd like to see you try shooting these now. Put the mace down, bring the visor up. Ah, okay, so when I made my initial great escape, these were the two... Thought I heard someone. These were the two contortionists I left behind. Still no healing on them, of course. I don't remember killing people in my initial great escape, but... Just, uh, just another day for old Henry here, isn't it? The day of no healing. Uh oh, uh oh, it's the last thing I need. Let's grab the last poisons, poison the last food, and uh, yeah, I see two places to poison food here. What's going on there? Yeah, bollocks. I don't even see anyone. Maybe that's fine and he won't see me still. Here is the dog. Mm, doesn't uh, doesn't heal me though. So that's not what I'm looking for. Oh boy. Have you lost something? Kind of. Fortunately, he must have slept through me being told I needed to die. And damn near everything else. So let's, uh... Keep it that way. They tempt me, those black hoods. I like them. I like them a lot. I don't think I can eat crisps for a wee while. <laughs> Crunching too much for you. Nice plate arms. Heavy, but nice. Polish... Oh god, it, it tempts me so much. So very much. Dark Waffenrock. I don't think that's the same as black, though. How can I say no to that, Curus? The value's just too high for me to say no. Can't be done. Otherwise, though, I was truly hoping for some... can't say no to that sword, either. I was truly hoping for some more poison. There's bound to be more. Just keep your eyes peeled, folks. I'll do much the same. I'm sure there was somebody making noise over here, though. Hey, who's there? Oh, it's you. Who's... 
You might be the last man alive in this camp, you know. Well now. <clears throat> Two arms! Get over here! Uh, I yield. <laughs> He's just really tired. Uh, Alright, you know what? The thing about evil is you need to be able to spread it. So Worst Henry is just going to let him go. You can go. And don't ever come back. I understand. God be with you. He is, and he's not with you. Now, for real, Scarper. I thought he wasn't going to. Okay. That would put me in a moral quandary. Tell all your friends about me. I don't want it to end up like that Oglaf comic. Got anything for me here at all? Hey, I, I do need to finish off the last of my poisoning here, and I'm not seeing more poison. The fewer arrows you have, the better for us. It's getting a little too dark for me to continue this on, so where's the last of the poison? I'm certain there are four units of poison in the camp which you can use. You sure food doesn't heal you? Yeah. Quite sure. Ah, oh, we've got another thing to check out here. Don't know if you can hear the heartbeat of Henry indicating that he's close to death. But that's okay, remember, the closer to death I am, the stronger I am. One man army, Henry here, cleared it all out. Uh, how about you? Any any poison to be had here? How long until it can't respawn? It'll respawn at the next story bit. But it's starting to feel like I've killed every last person here, so I will just take anything with my name on it. Which is whatever I want it to be. Okay, I am all but certain. Oh yeah, maybe I should wash myself on here. All but certain there's some extra poison hanging around. I just can't find it. But I want to I want to weaken these people as much as possible, and that involves poisoning all of the food pots, not just a couple of them. There's somebody watching this now or in the future who knows where the last of the poison is. Internally screaming that I can't find it. A common occurrence on this channel, so don't worry. Oh, well, see, there we go. That's one of them. I came here from YouTube after bigger watching the State of Decay 2 playlists. Well, there's more State of Decay 2 to come at the turn of the week. When exactly, I don't know, but Dark Side mod is slated for being finished this week. Now, I'm pretty sure I've burned all of the arrows here. We check the quest log. Sabotage. Yeah, we did the arrows. The next thing is the food, but you need to do all of the food. I should get both of the poisons before I do these, or else I'll forget which of the two things I already put the poison into. But where is the last of the poison? Just showed up there. Oh, just some nettles. Just food here. Next week is possibly wildcard week, aka Star's Day to Decay 2 week. We'll see. I'll need to... Once once it's out, I'll give it a test run and I'll finalise the schedule, but... I would uh, I would expect State of Decay 2. It might even run on my, my days off. There's so much that I want to stream in so little time. Actually, there's plenty of time. It's just managing it correctly. And I'm not managing my... Oh! Jeez! You were the last one alive. He was just so damn tired, he didn't even want to get up when he heard everybody dying. And he's also keeping me from potentially the last poison. No, just ten, ten more lockpicks. I, I, I think I have enough lockpicks for the rest of the game now. Can you make poison? No, I don't know how to make poison. There is, there is certainly another poison. Maybe I actually have another one and I didn't even realise it. No, I've only got one poison and I need two. I've already checked all here. I feel like 
Because I would have gotten it before. I feel like it was in one of those foodie areas like that. Jake, there was another tent. That's, that is vague. I mean, there's this tent. There's all of this. Here. Oh, ho, there we go. That's the last poison. I knew it wasn't in a, in a chest. So with that, I can drop into the pot a cheeky bit of poison. It's my own recipe. There we go. Poisoned their foods. Burned all their arrows. You know, killed them all, but let's, let's not let that get in the way of things. And only taking one death on that, I gotta say, is pretty good. You can eat from the pot, but then you're going to poison yourself. Uh, ooh, Polish curse. A, lo a lot of stuff here is worth so much money if you just take it and sell it. And none of it counts as stolen, because all of it's coming from bandits. But whilst I could sit here and loot thousands of dollars worth of, uh, of money, I think it's time for me and Schlefnir to take our leave. Yeah. I want to clear this manually because if I do it automatically I might uh, run into some bandits that spawn on the world map. But then once I'm clear of this place, and that seems clear enough, we head to Mehoyed to go to Radsig's camp. I'd really rather save, truth be told. Maybe I should go to Talenberg instead. Not a lot of opportunities to fleece my goods. Oh, Urshits have forgiven me! I'm not popular in Urshits, but they have forgiven me. Meho, yeah, doesn't really have much to, to sell to, and Talenberg certainly doesn't either. Oh, I see now. Remember when I thought I wasn't public enemy number one in Lidicho? Well, now I am. I doubt I'll get a good price for anything in Ushitz. Maybe I should make my way down to Rate to sell some stuff and just generally clean myself up. Long way to go at night time, and I might get accosted and killed along the way, so that's... Not without its risks. I'll go to Talmberg so I can save first. What's this? You stopped on the way? Muffled screaming in a foreign language. Cumans! Right, let's just get away from all that. We failed to get away from all that, so... Ride like the wind. I didn't come this far just to die. Oh, I'm going north. I don't think I'm meant to be going north here. Ah, but if I take a tight turn here... I'll start heading south. Is there anywhere that doesn't hate you? Rate doesn't hate me. There we go. Clear to the Cumans. Honestly, the the times that you get hit by an event when you're traveling around here, you can generally just run away. Obstacle? Okay, well, ignore the obstacle. Scouting makes it easier to see and easier to run away, but as long as you're on horse... Just leg it on the horse. If you're on foot, different story. Because then you can get chased down and battered down. <laughs> Scallops doesn't hate me either. There's that. True. Okay, as long as I've got a full belly, I should be able to sleep and undo this concussion and broken body of mine. Yeah. And more than anything else, Scallops offers me safety and sanctitude. Also a trader here, but I think this trader has terrible, terrible money. So I doubt I'll be able to sell them okay. much. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. It's been a pleasure. He's only got 33 coins. However, he sells me savior schnapps, so I will actually take those off of him. He's he's got Ganesh's hammer because I sold it to him ages ago. Most amusing. Okay, but what, what am I going to sell to you? What do I not care so much about? Why is my gambus all torn up? All these questions and more. Uh, Milanese or Polish Kuris? Which is better? Well, it doesn't really matter that much. Take the... Uh, oh, I've got two of the Polish ones. Off they trot then. Much as I like this black hood, I found other hoods. And uh, I already get more money than he has. Can I buy something off of him? Well, none of this is important to me, so let me 
Remove one of these. I'm still the one paying here. Not on my watch. Must be something else I can give this guy. Not my straw hat, that's out of the question. What am I looking to give him? Like 80, 80 quid worth of something? This old heavy shield? No, that's my heavy shield. Gotta be something worth about 80 that I'm willing to part with here. What do you mean there's not? Come on, I don't want to pay this guy. I want to be taking money from him. Maybe the problem is that... Well, whatever. Come on, I'm not going to cry over 54, am I? You can sort by value? I can. And I probably should have. But I did not. I'm more interested in sleeping and saving. Because that was a very successful run. It could have been more successful if I'd stolen more stuff. But, like I said, I'm not in it for that. We've got plenty of money, and just about everything worth having for money we've already gotten. So, old Henry just sleeps up till he gets all of his health back. 97 will do me just fine. Then we'll head down to Rate, sort out and fix up everything of ours, and then we're ready to join Sir Radzig. Will you run your own village in the long play? I don't actually know if the storyline gives you anything. I'd imagine eventually there's some rebuilding of Scallops, right? But there is a DLC to run your own village, and it's awful, and I don't want to do it. The way the DLC works is uh, you can choose to build things in your village, and you pay for them. Everything, and everything costs multi-thousands, or even dozens of thousands, of Groshna. So you get it, you pay it, you build it, and, and that's about it. And it will passively make you money. But the amount of money you sink into it is many, 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 even orders of magnitude more than what you would ever need for anything in the game. So it's it's just an exercise in pointlessness. Excessively pointless. Okay, okay, okay. None of this is stolen, so I can go straight over to... I think I'll take the upper gate. Because that way I can head up, say, the cob... No, yeah, I actually need a new cobbler kit. So let's head on over. I think it's about 30k. Uh, I recall it being more than 30k to get everything built up there. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. 7,000 groschen for a fishing hut which provides 70 groschen a week. It is exactly that type of stuff. Uh, an armed man is waiting for something. It's not likely a bandit. Who knows, it could be a trap. You know what, we've not really talked to these people before. Let's Let's have a word with them. I think it's more there if you want to immerse yourself in the feeling of being your own bailiff. Hello, sir. I want your money, bastard. And all your valuables. Hand over all your coin. Mm-hmm. Well now. Well itty well itty well now. I have a feeling that he's making a big mistake. The only reason you're not dead yet is I'm too kind hearted. But now I'm starting to think my finer feelings are wasted on the likes of you. Come now, it was just a bit of, uh, just a bit of horseplay. Friendly like. A prank is all. So we'll take our leave and be on our way. God be with you. I quite agree. You will be on your way. Straight to hell. That's how I feel about pranks. Might have spared his life if I didn't see who he's using a pole arm. And those ones, those ones don't go well for me. Ooh, a golden goblet. It counts as stealing, actually, because uh, I bamboozled this guy. If uh, if he just straight up fought me instead of me saying he can go, then it wouldn't be stealing. But sometimes principles are more important. You can always grab the pole arm. I could, but don't need it. Come on, I got Ratty to get to here. Never used a pole arm, Gorn, but I'm not sure I will in this one. I'm really, I'm married to the mace at this point. I should stop off at this halfway in place. I don't think I've even got the fast travel point for it yet. You're gonna buy some horse armor if I end up next to. 
uh, another stable that's selling horsey accessories. I will strongly consider it. And what great timing, it's midday. All the shops are going to be open, I can get everything fixed up. I can rest up, wash up, and it'll be a brand new Henry ready to get all muddied up in the upcoming fight. Uh, no, no, don't put the armor on. Take the armor off, Henry. <laughs> now is not the time. Don't need the fire either. Yeah. So ratty. The one place around here that I'm actually not the devil's kith and kin. People don't mind me so much. I'm going to stop by every shop to get everything of mine all fixed up. Maybe even the armor. Because I want a really good set of armor for fighting, and I don't like this whole switching out all the time. Though you'd be better off going for a good scrub. You don't exactly smell like roses. Yeah, I've I've been a little busy today, lassie. Oh well. Right, I want a proper cobbler kit for me so I can fix up my shoes myself. I don't think I stole any uh, leggy things worth worth of note though. I'll just close the deal on that. I don't need to. Don't need to haggle over every last thing. Christ Almighty, you! S <laughs> Calm down, laddie. Uh, I'd be better off fixing my own shoes because then I can get the buff for it. So where are we at with that? A to Z cobbler kit. There we go. Oh, I already had cobbler kit. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Or maybe I accidentally bought two. Hard to say. My skills are too low to fix up most of my clothes, but as long as my shoes don't take too much damage, I think I can take care of those. Unfortunately, all the other places I want to be are really close to each other. You'd think people would be nicer considering Henry must be absolutely covered in blood and gore. Not to mention I'm wearing this Kuman mask. It, it, on that note, I should actually switch out for... Um, no, if I'm wearing it, then I know it's stuff that I want to be wearing for my fighting. So with that in mind... Good day to you. Good day indeed. I need some repairs done. What do I want repaired? This is going to get expensive. Do I even want to repair the Milanese? I don't. I have another better Curious that should be no longer considered stolen by now. And I don't like this helmet. It obscures too much of my vision, so I'm not going to be doing that. So the Brigandine Pauldrons... Um, the leggings, my noble coif, my gauntlets, my hat. I can repair the mace myself. I like my hull back here, and my shield, and that. Yeah, let's close that deal. And whilst I'm at it, I should also sell some stuff. Curious sounds so wrong. You know, I've never learned how to say that word properly. Can you show me how to repair? Curious is what I called it because it was a word in Draken, and I was way too young to even understand what it meant. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right. Excellent. I can actually get a bit better now, with with my maintenance. So much so that I get a perk for it. Any other perks waiting for me? Fragrance, no. Savile Row. Repaired yourself adds charisma. That's pretty good. Oh, keep stealth. Yeah, I want both of these. Charisma's nice. I should take that. Now let's shift. Shift the excess. Uh, before then, I should make sure that all the excess is coming off of my horse. So give me all of that. Ooh, the silver spurs. All the better. So what am I giving you? I like my Brigadines, so they're going away. Uh oh, they're being kept on me, rather. I like my Gambeson, so I'm certainly keeping that and repairing it up. Uh, damaged one of you goes away. Let's get rid of that dark Brigadine. I like it, but it's hard to deny the superiority of other choices. Getting rid of that, because I have Curiouses elsewhere. Goodbye Polish Curious as well. He's got 10,000 gold, so holy moly, I'm making the killing here. 
And again, this is just a tiny fraction of the loot available. If I'd stolen everything from those those guys and shoved it all here, I could have taken his 10,000 several times over. Come to think of it, I'm hard pressed to think why I'm not doing that. I think I'll keep that one rather than the other one. It's, it's not a nice look though, I don't like it. Maybe I can buy a better looking helmet here. Might as well keep all these leggings, get rid of those spurs. What's a nice helmet? Basconet, German one. <laughs> you don't want that, you can barely see anything out of it. I'm not really sure I like most of these things. Maybe I should just take a kettle helm or a skull cap to keep it simple. Won't obscure my vision. Seems to give plenty of visibility. Popular, simple, less well-equipped. Wear a pot on your head. Mm, no. The difference in defense isn't that big. You know what, let's keep, let's keep a simple, simple skull cap on us. The covered up one should be good. Can we give, can't we up armor on the straw hat? I'm pretty sure there is no doing that sort of stuff for your weapon, uh, for your armor. Alright, get myself that. Uh, mm. Now I'll take the take the pot in the head. I think the bush would be a better shield as well, better defense on it. Very expensive though, and it's going to chip away at all the money he's going to be giving me, and I'd like to get my money, frankly. So yeah, I think we'll I think we'll seal the deal on this one with a bit of haggling, of course. I'd like to discuss the price. Aye. Aye, indeed. I want considerably more money, please. Two thousand one hundred would be nice. Since it's you, close. A little closer, perhaps two thousand. Finally. There, just bagged an extra two, two hundred and spare change off of him. Right, very good. Now, let's make sure I'm back in my not-killing gear. Although I will be switching back out to killing gear soon enough. It's just for now. Let's keep Henry looking a bit more prim and proper. His straw hat. His hosies. Those gauntlets I won. His dark, quiet boots. His hood. And the gambeson, which really needs repaired up. And I'm going to keep the rest of the armor on me because I'm going to... Gonna be putting it on soon anyway. I need to go and visit and get my mail as well. You all know what happened there. Help. Can you wear a coif under straw hat? I can, but I don't want to. I don't like the look of it. God be with you. God is with me. Farewell. Right. Gambison, please. Coif, please. Both my hoods and my leggings. <laughs> And while we're at it, I need to make sure that I have some good access to tailor kits myself. Didn't need any of the rest of the stuff, so that's okay. So I've got cobbler, tailor, I just need the blacksmith's repair kit. And to repair and or sell anything to him. And we are done and dusted. Then again, how strong am I by now? My strength is 11. I might consider upgrading the old mace at this point. The craftsman can't repair such a badly damaged bit of leggings. Really? They're, they're only 57. What's your problem, man? Mm, okay, well, no need to do repairs then. I'll just sell and buy. Give myself a proper blacksmith's kit. Sell off uh, that longsword I found. And strongly consider getting myself an even better mace. Bailiff's mace. How, how can I tell how it... Uh, how it compares to my current weapon? I don't know how to get off of what I have selected here. I think I already have a captain's mace. 
The Bailiff one has like 10 extra damage to it. Ceremonial does less. Warning Stern's all sorts. And then there's Warhammer. The Ceremonial one is absurdly expensive and needs even more strength. But I think I might go for the big old Bailiff Mace. Captain's Mace, Instrument, da-da-da. Bailiff's Mace. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. Couldn't I just take it off of somebody? Maybe, but come on, let's let's treat ourselves. We did all that fighting. Let's get ourselves a brand new nice weapon for it. Bye-bye, Captain's Mace. And of course I'm going to haggle for this one. <laughs> bailiff Mace, to be used on bailiffs. <laughs> Maybe it's the only way to kill the immortal bailiff. So, naturally, I don't want to pay quite that much. What do you say to the I'd almost say Almost eh? How about this? Finally Excellent. So that's me up to my killing power, made everything nice and uh nice and ready for killing, and even everything's clean. I don't even need to go to the bathhouse. Though I likely will, I'll just pick up Is there anything I have on me that I still want to be selling for what it's worth? That's all good. I got some savior schnapps. I think I'll store my backup hood on the horse. His carrot is uh, stolen, so let's just drop that on the ground. Although thinking about it, I should have eaten it. I have this to sell at uh, well whenever I want. Okay, good. Let's get ourselves some plate mail for our big fight, and then go and see Radzig. You deserve a better bow. I think Capone's bow is still good for a wee while. Hard to say though, and I seldom I seldom use archery to begin with. Uh, why did I come down here? I don't have this yet. I need to go to the mill. Yeah. He'll probably buy the goblet off of me as well, so that that weighing me down. Or I'll just get stuck on things again. Yeah. Well, there was talk about Henry stinking badly, so maybe I can get myself washed up while I'm here too. What do you want from me? Seem very happy about I'd it. I'd like to. Uh... And what is it? Heal wounds. No, I don't need to do that. Just a bath and a laundry will be fine. Did. Fine. Don't I'm want to sure. overpay now, do I? What's old Capone up to anyway? Well, last we saw he was healing after his encounter with the Cumans and the yeah. whole ball crushing incident. But I doubt that's the last we'll see of him. I would that it were. Might not be the worst of things. Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wager on the Ratte Tourney? Well, last time I did, I made almost a grand sunshine. But we've already won the Ratte Tourney. No need to be doing it again. Now, now, now. From my inventory, I don't need to drop off anything. But from here, I want... Yeah, maybe a couple more Saviour Schnapps on me. Yeah, maybe even a few more. And... Oh, I've got more Gambesons and things in here than I'd imagined. Still, oh, it still counts as stealing if I take the curiouses. I wouldn't want to lose them, but damn, they're good for good for the fight. So I'm actually going to take one anyway. Plenty of stuff that I could be selling, but there's no there's no big push on me to be selling right now. Yeah, the neck the chain necklace can be sold. That's fine. Otherwise, otherwise. Nothing here that looks too much worth my time. You get different armor pieces each time, says the Tam. If you care about that armor set, it is. I don't care too much about armor sets hey, in general. Lad. Good day to you. I just want to look good in my straw hat. I've got some good. All right. Farewell. All right. What's he? What's he going to take from me? Actually, how much would he give me for the uh, the curiouses? 544, that's pretty good. 
but I'd rather just take it and wear it for the, the big fight that's surely coming up. Take this crummy... Ne Actually, if the necklace is no longer stolen, I can wear it for a charisma boost, can't I? In that case, just take the goblet and we'll call it a day. Yeah, there we go. Look our best, shall we? Excellent. In that case, I will take a short nap here, and I'm going to ride out to Radzig, all the way back north indeed. And we're going to finish off that layer of villainy and banditry. The goblet didn't have the stolen icon. It didn't, but I just wanted it shifted. Money is essentially an infinite resource in this game, and since I've already gotten my best horse and plenty of dosh, I'm not going out of my way to get more. Again, if I was after it so much more, there would be nothing left in that bandit camp. Would have stri stripped the meat from the bones. And then the marrow from the bones. To where are we heading to, Schlabemir? Actually, do we have a fast travel point up here? Oh, it doesn't matter, that's not where we're going. We're going up to Mehoyed. Black PT won't be stopping me in my travels anymore. Ah, I, I should extend a big thank you to Black PT though. He got me, he got me that black hood that I was really after. Oh God, no, no, let's not go through. Uh, let's not go through here. I'm public enemy number one. Escape. They've not forgotten what we did to the butcher. Okay, well, easily done. Like I said, the encounters in the fast travel feel like quite an afterthought here. They really amount to nothing. I might have to come back and put the bailiff to sword. Maybe this time he won't get back up. It's like using silver on a werewolf, I need the bailiff's mace to take out the bailiff. Time heals all wounds though, you can get your reputation back up. Well there's one wound that doesn't heal, if you screw over somebody who offers training I don't think they will ever offer you training again. In a playthrough I mugged an armorer once, and I waited a very long time and he still, he still would not train me again. Yeah. He'd sell to me, sure enough, and I could get his reputation up, but every time I asked for training, he'd give me the whole, are you pulling my pizzle line. Which seemed a bit extreme to me, but... Right, armor. Let's get ready for this. Arm things on. Body one, body three, body two. It's a shame to injure my dark gambeson for this, but... Head one, two, and three. Heads, legs, one, two, and three. Now this means beans. I'm even getting better at horsemanship, which I don't mind one bit. At level 7, what can we be? We can have some strong thighs. The chance of staying in saddle if an opponent tries... Yes, because there's probably going to be that in time. Yeah. Now you can murder Hobo, all of Radzig's camp, if you really feel up for it. Dangerous though, because there are loads of them here and they will round on you. Like I said, this isn't a murder hobo run. <laughs> the murder is simply means to an end here. Where you at, Raddy? Yeah, I mean, just look at the accompaniment that he has here. Well then, speak up. I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? And I look pretty good in my get up here. There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. 
We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. This is a difficult choice, actually, you see. If we say that there's barely any, then he's not going to send too many people, and that's actually going to save another village. If we say there's a lot of them, another village is going to get burnt down. But it'll make the follow-up fight quite a bit easier, because he's going to send in more men. I don't know what the thing is here. What would the worst Henry do? Mm, the worst Henry would probably probably put his lord in danger by having a uh, a harsher fight here. But yeah, there isn't anyone. I killed them all. Yeah, that's that's fair. A handful, hardly worth bothering about. That's a relief. Along with Sir Robard's men, we'll easily be able to handle it. Well, now it's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Tarnberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take a few men, maybe a dozen, and set out for previous levels. We'll meet up there and mount an attack together. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Take care now. Mute it? Oh, jinx. Damn, and I had such a scathing line to say there. Maybe I can say it again. I'll try it again. Now, Heldon has some interesting things, some interesting suspicions about the relationship between Henry and uh, Sir Radzig there. But unlike Heldon, I don't insert cacaldry into every piece of media that I consume, so I'll leave it at that. As for the question about um, reading, yeah, Henry learned to read long ago. We're long past reading now. What got you back into the game? You hated it the first time. It certainly isn't my genre of game, but it's very well done. The weekly one-shot was enough to make me think, ugh, Western RPG, but also enough to make me think, oh, there's something going on here. And after the weekly one-shot, it preyed on my mind, so I ended up coming back afterwards. And I played through what I can only assume is about half of the game. And then I couldn't play any more because it bugged out on me and I could go no further, which was a big disappointment for me, actually. Was it Dibbish or the other guy that I'm meant to be talking to here? Well, whoever I'm meant to be talking to, they sure aren't here. Chamber didn't I do nasty things to this Chamberlain before? Feels like I would have. 
All right, Robard, where are you at? Oh, it's Dibish. Greetings. What business have you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take a few men. A dozen should do. We're to go to Pribislavitz with them and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you leave my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. May the Lord watch.